So now it's time for one of our favorite segments, the D-Bag Award. So Nathan, what's a D-Bag Award? Well, a D-Bag Award is an award that we like to give out to people that just make the stupidest self-defeating arguments that just, like, self-evidently on the surface, you, you hear and you're just like, dude, did you really just say that? Oh, and of man. course, it is it is named after one of our favorite Dershowitz bags, the original D-bag, Alan Dershowitz, for that fateful time in which he stood in front of Congress to defend Trump during the impeachment hearing, saying that he could not possibly have done anything that rises to the level of impeachment because it was in he believed that it was in the country's best interest for him to win the election. And because of that, it doesn't matter that he cheated because it would have because it would have helped him fulfill that goal. Mm. Wow. I, so I am on the edge of my seat. What on God's green earth could possibly rise to the level of a D-bag? Well, Michael, I'm glad you asked, uh, because this week's D-bag is a newcomer, someone that we've never heard of before. Great. Um, it is uh, It is actually a, a state representative, a Florida Republican state representative, and his name is uh, Webster Barnaby. Webster Barnaby. What a name. All right. Yeah. Come on down. I feel like all we have to do every week to find a D-bag or an asset is just go to the list of Florida state reps. <laughs> we go in alphabetical order. <laughs> all the Republican state reps from Florida will just pick them, one of them that week. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure one of them said something. <laughs> Some, Some bullshit. So, something. So what which, did and, Webster and I, I Barnaby? Feel, is that his name? Yeah, Barnaby. Oh wow. I which I love that. I love the name Barnaby. I know. It's Barnaby is really such nice. a cool name. I know. Such a cool name for such a douche. For such yeah. a douche. So what did this <laughs> douchebag say to uh to earn a D-bag award? So in keeping with our uh with our theme from the last segment about crazy shit that Republicans have been spewing about trans people, um he he had a take on what the world is coming to today in terms of uh in terms of a society where there's more and more trans people mm -hmm. and he made a comparison that i i don't think he's self-aware enough to realize that he kind of just told on himself mm -hmm. so he made a comparison to the x-men movies specifically comparing trans people to x-men but that being a bad thing. He said, quote, I'm looking at society today, and it's like I'm watching an X-Men movie. It's like we have mutants living among us on planet Earth. Oh, man. <laughs> so wait, so what you're telling me is that he watches X-Men. You know, the one where there are superheroes... That can do cool shit. That can do cool shit. Like, read minds. Yeah, who are risking their lives to protect the rest of humanity and all the dickholes that are trying to screw them over from anybody that would endanger them. He's yeah. he's viewing those X-Men, those superheroes, as the bad guys? Yeah. Is that it? And not only that, but apparently he's viewing that, that politician from the first movie. Mm, the one that turns like into the... a slug of gloop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Apparently prior to prior to him changing his mind like prior to when he changed his mind, mm -hmm. realizing, oh, you know, you yeah, yeah. you people are afraid of me and I feel bad about that. Like prior yeah. to that, uh, apparently you thought he was the good guy. <laughs> you thought that politician who was trying to like, who was trying to legislate away mutants, you thought that was the good guy? What wow. the fuck? <laughs> what movie was he watching? <laughs> what movie were you watching? Like I, you're you're telling on yourself, bro. Seriously. Like, do you do you watch Lion King and cheer for Scar? <laughs> like, do I don't you... know. It's like I'm waking up and all of a sudden, like all the Willoughbys <laughs> are running over the bad guys. <laughs> it's like, what is this? Like, I I almost feel sorry for him now because now I'm thinking like he must think that the only movies that exist are tragedies because almost every single movie involves like you know the bad guy losing and he mm. must he must think that's the only thing that exists because those are always those are always the people he's cheering for <laughs> he's like i don't know why movies always end so sad yeah yeah like <laughs> oh my god you know, god that 
God, that that judge and the hunchback of Notre Dame who was trying to like he was just trying to protect his city, yeah, you know? Exactly. And he got he got he got thrown off the edge of like, you know, that <laughs> that Gaston guy. Like he was just trying to kill that beast. Yeah. That evil beast like you know, to be fair, and, actually, now that you say it, all of these are straight on point. These are yeah, actually are. things that he would. <laughs> oh, these these evil guys are trying to destroy the outcasts, the downtrodden, like the like, yeah, the the out group. Yeah, actually, that's on brand. He definitely thinks those guys are the good guys. Yeah. What a shocking admission! What an idiotic no admission! Like, wow. tell me. Tell me you're the bad guy without telling me you're the bad guy. <laughs> so congratulations to Webster War- Barnaby. Bartleby the Scrivener <laughs> for being this week's D-Bag. <laughs>